Hey, everybody, and welcome to a very exciting edition of Words, Images, and Worlds. I'm so glad to be talking with comics creator, uh, also part of the part of the film world, uh, storyteller, Kevin Grievous. Kevin, thank you so much for jumping on and talking with me today. Hey, it's good to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Glad to have you. And uh, as I was saying before we hit record, I've enjoyed your work for some time. People out there probably know you through the worlds of Valiant, uh, yeah, the nice. the bloodshot work that you've done, uh, Marvel with the New Warriors, and then uh, of course the uh, Underworld series and I Frankenstein mm -hmm. are also out there right. and uh, amazing and uh, entertaining work in film and comics. Well, thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so what is it about comics that has drawn your interest? Were you a comics reader as a young person? Well, I was a comic book reader as a young person. You know, when I came to the game play, um, mm. I I don't think I discovered comics until I was twelve. Mm -hmm. Even though I had had comics, you know, um, before then. You know, I was more of a monster kid, mm -hmm. and I was into dinosaurs, you know, Godzilla, King Kong, the creature, the mummy, yeah, the things yeah. like that. And so I came to the comics, like I said, late when I was, um, I guess, 12 years old. And mm -hmm. uh, once I got hooked on them, uh, man, I just uh, devoured them insatiably, you know, yeah. and yeah. uh. You know, I've been a fan ever since. Yeah, yeah. The, there's so much superhero work in comics, but then talking about the monsters, uh, you know, some of my favorite comics have been like there was a graphic novel adaptation of the creature from the Black Lagoon, and uh, some of those things in Alien comics and Predator and, and yeah, things like that. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, so lots of great overlaps and connections there. So. Definitely. Um, uh, as a writer, um, what do comics allow you to do in the stories that you want to tell? I think in comics, as opposed to film, you have pretty much an unlimited budget mm -hmm. because you can tell small intimate stories, you know, in a city, in a room, with just a few characters. And, you know, it doesn't cost you any more than telling a sprawling space epic. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So in that respect, comics gives you a greater creative latitude, you know, yeah. um, than anything else you might do, you know. Um, I also think that since the images are static um, and drawn dynamically, they move even so, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because your mind puts together the in-betweens. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. I think that makes it even more um, interesting and fun because your imagination really takes over, you know, in a, in, you know, rather than everything being given to you. So mm -hmm. um, I like that aspect of it, you know. And then, of course, you know, getting into the the various creators over the years, the writers, the artists, especially, mm -hmm. um, I think makes it a unique medium. I really do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love that idea, the the brain sort of creating the images and the way they work together. Yes. Uh, that's, that's a very cool idea. Um, any go-to creators and collaborations that you, you really enjoy and folks out there that you've had especially positive connections with? Uh, you know, I, I've always liked, you know, the pre-DC Jack Kirby stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that stuff was always, you know, amazing to me, what he did with the uh, the Fantastic Four and Thor in particular. I mean, just, uh, you know, the visuals he came up with uh, to illustrate the worlds that these yeah. characters occupied, I mean, I think was really unparalleled, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, of course, I liked, uh, you know, all of Stan Lee's work. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what he and the template, you know, that he set or paradigm that he set for, you know, later latter generations of, of writers to come in and pick up 
where he left off, you know, mm -hmm. what the artists that they used, you know, uh, you know, your John Basimas, you know, your Rich Bucklers, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, Roy Thomas, Lynn Wee, Marv Wolfman, Jim mm -hmm. Starlin, mm -hmm. you know, Barry Windsor Smith, John Ramita, you know, Steve Ditko, these guys were, were just stellar, you know. Oh, yeah. They left an indelible mark on, you know, my nascent creative mind, you know, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, and talk about, uh, I mean, sprawling epics and um, Jack Kirby had that, that idea, too, of bringing in monsters and bringing in kaiju and uh, yes. the, these really amazing storylines and story worlds um, yeah d definitely worth visiting exactly so, yeah yeah so I'll mention um, a couple of titles that I didn't and then I know there's a, a particular title to focus on and uh, any upcoming works as well that you'd like to talk about and so okay. I'll mention uh, Odyssey of the Amazons um, ZMD uh, being works that you've created and I, I love yeah. the connection that you bring to to monsters and uh, vampires and um, the series that uh, I believe we're focusing on in, in this episode is Rise of the Jinn. Yes yeah yeah uh, yeah you know Rise of the Jinn is a, uh, a story that I've had for quite some time but was only recently able to bring it to fruition and um, I'm doing the Kickstarter for it you know um you know you can go to my twitter page or my um instagram or facebook page and find the links to it you know i'm sure you'll put it in the subject line you know on this podcast as well absolutely but it's a really interesting tale about a police detective uh who is terminally ill you know with stage four cancer mm -hmm. and Simultaneously, she discovers that she is a prophesied member of this ancient race of Jen. Yeah. And, you know, it's about how she uncovers all this in the midst of this personal tragedy of, you know, cancer, having her husband killed, you know, during this time. And, you know, finding out that she is this otherworldly thing mm -hmm. and how that you know, basically affects her life as she solves this mystery of this serial killer who did kill her husband and has been terrorizing the city for quite some time. So it's a, it's a, you know, it's a fish on a water story, mm -hmm. um, coming of age, so to speak. You know, and you know, uh, very exciting things happening, and uh, it's drawn by a guy named Elmo Bondic. You know. Mm -hmm. um, this is a trade paperback. At first, it premiered as a uh, a three issue miniseries that I did with my friends at Zenoscope mm -hmm. Entertainment, mm -hmm. and but now it's coming out, you know, in one trade paperback form Great. with additional material to, that augments the story, and it's really exciting, you know, really exciting. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to do that, you know. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And so much to relate to there in a, in a fish out of water story, uh, coming of age story. Those are themes that, that just work well. Um, yes, yes. And I know that you will bring in world's, world building sensibility as you do with the stories that you tell of yes. uh, the gin. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I try to do that. And like I say, you know, all this stuff is fun for me. You know, I've been doing it since I was a kid, so to do it now, <laughs> you know, and to get paid to do it, you know, this is, uh, uh, it's really a dream come true, you know, yeah. and I just enjoy it. Awesome, awesome, and, and the work you share is enjoyable for readers. Um, any, any contemporary titles, any folks out there that are creating that you'd like to shine a spotlight on before we talk a little bit about anything else that's, that's in the works? Uh, yeah, you know, a uh, buddy of mine, Rodney Barnes, mm -hmm. is just killing it with uh, his book, Philadelphia. You know, and I've uh, admired his work for years. Um, John Jennings, mm -hmm. you know, what mm -hmm. he's doing uh, 
with Ghostlight, a uh, book he did at Marvel. Um, some of my, you know, favorite creators, you know, are, uh, you know, Steve Niles, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Shannon Denton. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I would also say I like uh, a lot of uh, Jonathan Hickman's work, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. that he does at Marvel. Um, so there are, you know, a few guys I kind of follow, you know, as far as, uh, I think, uh, Ron Garney, uh, is at the top of that list. Mm -hmm. Um, everything he touches turns to gold yeah. and it's just phenomenal, you know, um, you know, him, you know, I still, you know, older guys, I still like, uh, Larry Strong's work, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's, uh, great. Um, you know, uh, Howard Porter, you know, has, uh, does some amazing work. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I've always loved his stuff, you know, Kenneth, uh, Rokebert, mm -hmm. you know, his stuff as well. Olivier, uh, Koibo, you know, I like, you know, his stuff as well. So you know, there are quite a few guys I, I follow, you know. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot out there for sure. And it, it's great to be uh, a creator, but also somebody that gets to enjoy all of yeah, those things as well and and feed the creativity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Any, uh, you mentioned Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, any spaces that folks can connect, upcoming events, or uh, additionally, any other projects that you'd like to mention that you're currently uh, making progress on? Uh, yes, you know, uh, working on uh, a book called Shook mm -hmm. with a lot of, um, it's an anthology, a horror anthology that I'm doing with the guys uh, over at, you know, Second Sight. Nice, nice. You know, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, those guys uh, have really done a, you know, what I think is a tremendous job, you know, bringing, you know, um, you know, creators uh, together, mm -hmm. you know, um, Bradley Golden and uh, Marcus Roberts, uh, they've done a tremendous job in assembling, you know, these guys together, you know, we're talking you know, Evan Park, you know, who is an actor who is in King Kong and where I met him, Planet of the Apes, He's done a lot of good work. Mm -hmm. You know, Brandon Easton, you know, uh, Eisner nominated, you know, uh, writer, you know, once again, Rodney Barnes, mm -hmm. myself, John Jennings, uh, David Walker, Eisner nominated as well. Mm -hmm. You know, all these guys are doing some, you know, amazing. Uh, work and that project's been great you know uh, also working with Shannon Denton and Steve Niles over at Monster Forge doing a book uh, called uh, Iron Killer yes. you know which is uh, one of my other upcoming projects and you know so I have my hands in a lot of different cookie jars you know my character Darkstorm mm -hmm. you know uh, that I'm uh, doing right now with uh, Charlemagne and Kim Lashley you know, mm -hmm. Ken Lashley, you know, Charlemagne speaks for himself, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you know, international radio personality of the Breakfast Club, Ken Lashley, who has done Superman, X-Men, Spider-Man, Spawn, uh, Bloodshot, uh, Flash. Um, he's done so much work. It's, it's phenomenal. And so just to be working with these guys you know, is, is, is an honor in and of itself. Yeah. Yeah. So many uh, great creators out there. And um, I, I enjoy your collaboration with Ken Lashley. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It comes together really, really well. Yeah. yeah so you know, like I said, you know, this is, uh, it, it's all fun for me, you know, mm -hmm. I have a good time doing it, you know, Wonderful, wonderful. Well, anything else that you want to make sure to mention as far as web spaces or events before we close the interview or anything that I missed that you want to make sure to share? Yeah, you know, once again, you know, visit my uh, my social media at Facebook, you know, Kevin Grievous, Instagram and Twitter at Kevin Grievous. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, 
sign up for a mailing list, you know, at Darkstorm Comics and Media uh, at gmail.com. Also go to uh, the Darkstorm website, do the same thing. Uh, and, you know, find the link for the um, Gentara Rise of the Gen pro project, you know, and uh, get on our mailing list so you can get notified for it. Um, that's it, you know, just keep in contact. You know, we love to hear from our fans, you know, and, and keep abreast, keep them abreast of the things that we're doing. So that's great. Great, great. great. I'll, I'll link the spaces to connect as well as the uh, Gentara link when I share this. So thank you so much, Kevin. I, I appreciate having the chance to talk with you. Oh, anytime. I'm, I'm just glad you are. Uh, uh, you reached out to me and uh, you know, had me join you. So that's great. Absolutely. Anytime. Thanks so much. Okay. You take care, sir. You too. Okay.